The chair recognizes the gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days within which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous materials on House Resolution 62, or sorry, 6429 as amended under current consideration. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I recognize myself for an opening statement. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to the STEM fields, this is long overdue. This is not the first time we've considered it, but as we go into the lame duck session, I'd like the American people to understand why this is so important. For more than two years, the national campaigns have talked in terms of jobs. STEM means jobs, Mr. Speaker. Many years ago, Thomas Friedman wrote about an experience of being a speaker at a commencement and he watched one after another individuals cross receiving their master's and doctorate degrees in science, in math, in engineering. The amazing thing is one after another had names that were almost impossible to pronounce in some cases and clearly the majority of these engineers and scientists were going, came from other countries and were being told they must return to them. He made the statement in his, uh, his op-ed that, in fact, at the end, rather than just a diploma, they should be given a diploma and a green card. Mr. Speaker, I agree with Thomas Friedman on this, on this subject. For each, Ameri for each person we welcome to America with one of these high degrees, we create jobs, net jobs. We create opportunity for expansion of the kinds of businesses that, in fact, Americans are prepared to work in, but often we do not have enough engineers, scientists, or math professionals. This shortage, particularly at the master's and doctorate level, is well documented. This is not something in which Republicans and Democrats are on different sides. This is something in which we agree to it. There is some controversy, as you might imagine, and there always is. Some would cling to a selective lotter uh, lottery that allows 55,000 immigrants to come for no reason other than they asked and they got a lottery. Those 55,000 are in fact an example of a great many of our immigrants. Only 5% of immigration visas today are based on skills of education and other capacities, only 5%. Although I support other categories of immigration, including those free, freeing the, fee, freeing, <laughs> fleeing the tyranny of their own countries, those, in fact, who would be killed if they remained or tortured, I certainly agree that family reunification continues to be an important part of our immigration system. But today, what we're dealing with is the ability to make a profound difference of 55,000 opportunity jobs. We often hear about opportunity scholarships, Mr. Speaker. Opportunity jobs is what we're talking about today. Jobs that are in, in great demand. In this high unemployment area, STEM jobs can be not just below four, but in some cases below 2%. The truth is, if you're qualified and you have these, these kinds of advanced degrees, the jobs are far greater than the qualified applicants. Three-quarters of likely voters support strongly this type of legislation, and I believe properly understood that for each STEM immigration visa, that the fact that you would gain net jobs, that by bringing in these 55,000, we could drop hundreds of thousands of people from the unemployment rolls because they could become employed. The benefit to our economy is undeniable. The controversy here today will simply be are we willing to act and act now? Many say that, that little good happens in a lame duck session. In this case, I believe, both in the House and hopefully in the Senate, we can in fact say not true. Some of the, some of the groups that have strongly come out in support of this legislation include the Institute for Electrical and Electronic Engineers, an area of shortage, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, an area of commerce, Compete America, the Information Technology Industry Association, and the Society of Human Resource Management, 
And I might say the industry I came from, the Consumer Electronics Association, has long supported these kinds of investments in America. <coughs> this bill has a large support of the majority of the House of Representatives and on a bipartisan basis. Last September, by an overwhelming vote, more than 100 votes to spare, STEM jobs passed under suspension. The pro <coughs> to protect American jobs, employers who hide, hire STEM graduates must advertise for the position before they can ask for them. They must, in fact, make their jobs available to all e existing American workers. And in fact, the, these protections have long meant that after all that advertising, employers often enter the H-1B, attempt to get a temporary worker. But in fact, for permanent opportunities and permanent growth, we should have more permanent jobs than simply a guest technology worker. More importantly, I think it's universally recognized by both my colleagues on the other side and my, my colleagues that if you have somebody who's going to benefit America, having them benefit America for a short time and then go home and, in fact, compete against America is not in America's best interest. <clears throat> in fact, the Assistant Secretary of State for Visa Services has testified that the diversity fraud in the system that we're attempting to uh, take these uh, slots from is so huge as to, in fact, make it effectively worthless. In those hearings and many others, we've determined that we do have an opportunity on a net basis, no net new immigrants, but in fact a selection of the ones that Americans want would be the best. There are many uh, other, uh, other provisions in this bill, but I want to touch on one, which is family reunification. Under this bill, we're going to set aside what has been a bad idea for a long time. People who, just because of our bureaucracy, often wait for family reunification with Americans, with green card or, Amer or, natural, or uh, fully naturalized citizens, often wait for many years to be reunited. Under this bill, I believe broadly supported, we're going to change that. We're going to make it to where after one year, if there are no other impediments to their coming, they may wait with their families here for final status. We believe that this is the best uh, a solution to a problem where we have had pervasive slowness in the process and it's to the detriment of, of families being together. So although there will be additional comments, and I intend on making additional comments, I want to close simply by saying one thing. I was an employer. I knew that, in fact, technology and people who could apply it allowed my company to complete, compete globally. I knew that in fact there were never enough of those people. I always had an open to hire if I found a smart engineer or a smart scientist. Mr. Speaker, we can only gain by asking as many people who are smart and who create opportunities far beyond just their own to be part of our society. It's smart in business, it's smart in America, and I reserve the balance of my time.